Hello YouTube, Jeff Bosco here. Uh, I know I haven't made much of anything for YouTube in the past six months or so, but um, I uh, wrote and co-directed a short film that's in post-production as we speak. Um, and uh, I started working on the end song, which is, was an older piece that I had written, but it was just short. It wasn't. A, it was never a complete song, and I always meant to get around to fleshing it out into a larger, more fully formed piece of music. And when I realized it had the same mood as the um, the the short film, and it would fit perfectly for the end song. Uh, I th therefore had an excuse to go ahead and do that. Um, uh, but one of the other things I was always meaning to do is, um, is surprisingly enough, uh, mess around with GarageBand. Because uh, I was looking for something a little less intricate than uh, Ableton Live to do mock-ups of songs and stuff. So I started pulling up the original tracks from the uh, song, it's called On a Lark. Um, maybe some of you have heard it in one of my videos over the years. Um, and I started pulling up the original tracks and you know, slicing stuff up, moving stuff around and adding new transitions to different parts. I found GarageBand to be incredibly conducive to the way I compose and arrange, so. But at some point, um, I got stuck because of, just because of the lim limits of GarageBand, and um, I decided to take the plunge and buy its older brother, uh, Logic Pro, and version 11 had literally just come out. I got the benefit of that and all the new goodies with all the uh, studio players and stuff. It's really cool, but uh, it didn't take me long to realize that the um, stock uh, guitar patches that they have uh, were kind of lackluster. So I started tooling around on YouTube and uh, lo and behold I uncovered some really good information using um, track stacks, user patches, in combination with the stock Logic Pro amp designer and one specific free plugin uh, just supercharged my uh, guitar and bass sounds. But before I head over to the computer, um, I do want to address uh, something uh, Rick Beato, uh, he had a, um, uh, one of his very popular uh, boomer posts, you know, old man yelling at the clouds kind of post about um, why music is uh, so lackluster these days. And, um, and one of the points he makes is how easy it is now just for these big producers just to continually non-stop just push out crap and um, more specifically he mentioned uh, how easy it is to get guitar and bass sounds with plugins nowadays and um, I am sympathetic to that argument but I, I don't think that's the reason um, for me it Basically, it just comes down to that's what people are picking. I left a pretty long comment on that video that has gotten zero engagement, but uh, for me, it's just that <clears throat> people don't want real creativity anymore because creativity is dangerous to a people group who are very satisfied and comfortable. But I'm not going to belabor that point um, we could argue about it in the comments if you want to um, you could go over to that video and see if you can find my comment and read it but anyway let's go over to the computer all right so uh, I have all these um, how to uh, make track stacks um, so I have a edge of breakup strat tone that I just named strat uh, this one Let's, uh... That's, uh, that's a Dillion. Dillion Strat clone. That's a really cool guitar. I bought that about 10 years ago. That's a PV Tele clone from the 80s. I love that guitar, too. Here's the 80s Studio Fender sound. Uh, 
then I did two, two of those. That's the, this one's the Dillion Strat. That's the uh, PV, PV Telly. Here's the um, Sterling Bass. Five string. Here's the Getty Lee Jazz sound. That's my uh, Fender Made in Japan 75 reissue, which is, if you've seen any King of Glicks videos, it's pretty much the exact same model. Here's the uh, lead sound. Again, that's with the Dillion Strat clone. And the drums are just the... Um, The Logic uh, Session Drummer, uh, Psychedelic Rock Patch. Uh, everything, surprisingly enough, I just went, uh, all, all everything went into the um, MXR Bass DI, and I just turned off the color for the guitars, and it's pretty much just a standard DI sound. And, um, and that DI is going into my Midas Venice U32. Yeah, so uh, let's just start with the Strat sound. Here, I'll just put it in mono. So we get it right down the center. And I'll uh, just get to getting to it. Okay, so I have uh, just some roll off on the, on the audio channel. And then I'm sending this to three different auxiliary tracks and then they're put together into a stack. And I'll show you the secret weapon plugin. And it's another other than Amplitude 5, the free version. This here is the main sound. This gives it the, the beef. And this is uh, some kind of Fender clone. I'm not really an amp guy, so I'm not really sure exactly which Fender this is uh, modeled after. It's just American Tube Clean. And I have the uh, cabinet bypassed here. And then it's going into the Logic Pro Amp Designer, just a transparent preamp. And I'm just using the cabinet. And that's the secret here because the Logic Pro amp designers, the speaker impulse responses are phenomenal, but the guitar amps are very lackluster. And with Amplitube, it's the exact opposite. The amps are fantastic, but their cabinet res impulse responses are kind of meh. And when you put the two together, you have a match made and bedroom producer heaven. So yeah, let's just get to the overdrive sound. Those are those. Okay, so I have a pedal board. Uh, just some, this two burner. These pedals are pretty good. I haven't looked through all of them, but uh, I like this two burner. And uh, that's going into Amplitube and some kind of a uh, Marshall amp. Uh, it's just Brit 8000, it's called. Not sure exactly which Marshall that's uh, cloning. And again, I have the, the speaker bypassed into the amp designer with a little different uh, cab setup than the clean channel. And uh, yeah, so on this one, I have a dynamic right in the middle to get that squeal, that fender squeal. I'm going to switch off the um, the amp designer I'm gonna turn off that cabinet and show you the difference between this cabinet I'm gonna turn it off again and then back on there's no comparison those the amp designer speakers just sound so much better. So yeah, basically I have three different tracks. I have the, the clean beef, 
the overdriven sound, and then in this one I have the ambience. And this is something I've always loved about the, the Amplitube uh, speakers. Their room sounds are fantastic. They always sound like it's an actual guitar in a room. And I have a hall up here for that um, with a little bit of pre-delay, about 40 milliseconds. That just separates the, um, the clean, the unaffected sound from the, the ambience. Gives it a little more depth. And I have that, uh, there's the, um, both those parts with the, um, the clean telly on one side and the strat on the other side. And I have the, the ambience of each one put into the opposite side. Yeah, so basically, uh, I'll have all these user patches for download. You could take them and uh, fool around with them if you want. Um, yeah, I'm not, uh, it's just basically uh, splitting the signal up, process them a little differently. You know, you get your, um, even with the bass sounds, it's still, there's the, the clean beef. There's the, the mids crunched up and there's the room sound and you can hear how each one adds to the to sound to add depth to the overall depth here let's go to the uh, studio fender it's a pretty neat sound How did I do this? Yeah, there's a bunch of chorus on the bunch of chorus on the clean sound. This one has um, even more chorus and uh, echo. The blue echo pedal that I like that way that came out. And this is just. Uh, yeah, just into uh, amp, no uh, no cab. That's kind of the the trick behind these these uh, '80s studio Fender kind of sounds. But yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, didn't want to make this video too long. Uh, if you have uh, any insights to add, I would love to hear them. Put them in the comments. Like and subscribe too, if you like this video. All right, let me know if you wanna see more of these kind of videos. All right.